So last night, MSNBC had a town hall in Philadelphia for the Democratic candidates. And in that, there was something interesting that I think a lot of people are going to cling on to and try to run with and possibly attack Bernie Sanders on. And that's him saying that it is incumbent upon Hillary Clinton to woo his supporters. Uh, take a look at this video. First, um, I think it is, you know, we're not a movement where I can snap my fingers and say to you or to anybody else what you should do. Because you won't listen to me. You shouldn't. Uh, you'll make these decisions yourself. I think if we end up losing, and I hope we do not, and if Secretary Clinton wins, it is incumbent upon her to tell millions of people who right now do not believe in establishment politics or establishing economics, who have serious misgivings about a candidate who has received millions of dollars from Wall Street and other special interests. She has got to go out to you and to millions of other people and say, yeah, I think the United States should join the rest of the industrialized world and take on the private insurance companies and the greed of the drug companies and pass a Medicare for all. I think that, says Secretary Clinton, that for the young people in this country, you should not have to leave college thirty, fifty, seventy thousand dollars in debt because we're going to make, as many other countries around the world do, public colleges and universities tuition free. I think Secretary Clinton is going to have to explain to millions of young people and a lot of other people that climate change is a real crisis and incrementalism is just not going to solve it. That's. And she is going to have to come on board and say, yeah, I know it's hard, but I am going to take on the fossil fuel industry and pass a carbon tax. So the, the point that I am making is it is incumbent upon Secretary Clinton to reach out not only to my supporters, but to all of the American people with an agenda that they believe will represent the interest of working families, lower income people, the middle class, those of us who are concerned about the environment and not just big money interests. There's, there's, there are Hillary Clinton supporters who I talk to, um, people who, some of whom are, are diehards and some of whom aren't. They voted for her, they like you, they like your politics. But, but there is concern that the thing you said at the beginning of that answer strikes me as important. You can't snap your fingers. I mean, people, this thing is big and people are very passionate. Um, you know, you have Tim Robbins, who's done events for you. He tweeted something today about the elections being stolen, and Rosario Dawson mentioned Monica Lewinsky, and all that's going to come out in the wash, I agree. But the question for you is, if it's incumbent on her, what role do you have if and when you come to that movement? Good. Fair question. I work with Republicans in the U.S. Senate, and I see what they do in the House. I think the Republican party today has moved so far to the right that they are way, way, way out of touch with where the American people are. These are people who almost without exception do not even recognize the reality of climate change, let alone want to do anything about it. They want to cut Social Security and give tax breaks to billionaires. They want to end the Affordable Care Act, but they have nothing to replace it with. I will do everything in my power to make sure that no Republican gets into the White House in this election. Here's the thing. I, I agree with Bernie. It is in very incumbent upon Hillary Clinton to, you know, woo the Bernie Sanders supporters. It's he can do, you know, he can come out and say he supports her, he endorses her or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's it's her job to excite them and make them feel as though they uh, should or want to support her. And if she cannot do that, then that is on her and not on Bernie. Because again, he can't control the people that support him. He is not a magician, he's not God. He can't snap his fingers and say, hey, I'm out now, support Hillary. He cannot do that. All he can say is, look, I'm behind her, you know, to see what she has to say. And at that point, it's her job to say, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna take some of his policies and I'm gonna meld them with mine. Um, and if she cannot do that, then she doesn't deserve your vote. If she does not appeal to what you uh, believe and what you feel and what you want and what you want to see happen, 
then she does not deserve your vote. Now, when Hillary's portion of the town hall came up, Rachel Maddow asked essentially a question about what Hillary will do in order to move uh, Sanders supporters. And this is what she had to say. <laughs> well, Rachel, let's look where we are right now. I've got 10.4 million votes. I have 2.7 million more votes, real people showing up to cast their vote to express their opinion than Senator Sanders. I have a bigger lead in pledged delegates than Senator Obama, when I ran against him in 2008, ever had over me. I am winning, and I'm winning because of what I stand for and what I've done and what my ideas are. So, look. I think we have much more in common, and I want to unify the party, but my Wall Street plan is much more specific than his. We saw that when he couldn't even answer questions in the New York Daily News interview. I have laid out a very clear set of objectives about not just reigning in the banks, because we already have Dodd-Frank, which President Obama passed and signed, and I've said, I will implement it. But I've gone further. He has yet to join me in going after the shadow banking industry. So there are so many areas where I'm more specific, where I have a track record, where I explain what I will do. And I think that's why I have 2.7 million more votes than he does. Am I right in, in hearing that as basically you saying that there's, there's nothing you're going to do differently than you're already doing? as a way to try to win over his supporters, even at the end of the primary season. Well, let's look what happened in 2008, because that's the closest example. Um, then Senator Obama and I ran a really hard race. It was so much closer than the race right now between me and Senator Sanders. Hmm. We had pretty much the same amount of popular vote. By some measures, I had slightly more popular vote. He had slightly more pledged delegates. We got to the end in June, and I did not put down conditions. I didn't say, you know what, if Senator Obama does X, Y, and Z, maybe I'll support him. I said, I am supporting Senator Obama, because no matter what our differences might be, they pale in comparison to the differences between us and the Republicans. That's what I did. At that time, 40% of my supporters said they would not support him. So from the time I withdrew, until the time I nominated him, I nominated him at the convention in Denver. I spent an enormous amount of time convincing my supporters to support him. And I'm happy to say the vast majority did. That is what I think one does. That is certainly what I did. And I hope that uh, we will see the same this year. So basically what she said there was that she's got more votes. So fuck her. Um, I don't think that's a good strategy. I think if she really wants to win, she's going to have to appeal to these to these people. And simply saying that I've got more voters um, and, you know, I go further on Wall Street, that's just a start. That's not all these people want. And I, shame on Rachel Maddow for only pointing to Wall Street. And then when Hillary brings up that debunked Daily News uh, interview, not doing a follow-up and saying, well, that Daily News article has been debunked by plenty of sources, including MSNBC has debunked it. You know, so shame on Rachel Maddow for not doing a doing her job and following up and going after Hillary on that, because that article, that interview has been debunked by plenty of sources. Not only that, but Hillary's saying she's got more voters. It, it's nothing. That's that's a Donald Trump tactic. I'm winning. All Donald Trump does is sit up and talk about how he always wins and how he's doing better than everybody. And Hillary Clinton just essentially did the same thing and said that she's got more votes. And she does essentially, she feels entitled to these people's votes. You can't be entitled to these people's votes. You, it, it goes right along with this whole uh, primary. She's She's been feeling as though she's entitled, like it's her turn to be uh, president. And it's not. You have to earn it. And you have to earn it by inspiring people and making people want to come out and vote for you.
And Hillary Clinton has not done that. She has not inspired people as though Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, unfortunately, have done. Bernie Sanders has done it in a positive way. Donald Trump has done it in a negative way. But they have both inspired and excited people and riled them up and wanted to make them want to go vote and make change happen. Although, again, Donald Trump is doing it in a negative way and Bernie is doing it in a positive way. That's what they've done. Hillary Clinton has failed to do that. And you can't turn around and say, well, I'm winning. So these people, you know, they have to come and support me. You know, you can't do that. They're not going to do that. They, people are not turned on by someone saying, I've got more votes. I've got more pledged delegates. You have to come support me, you know, if I win. A lot of these people, and Hillary Clinton has to realize this, a lot of these people who su support Bernie Sanders, they're independent voters. And most of that is because uh, a lot of these new voters, these young voters, are independents when they become of age. They, more often times than not, me, for example, I'm an independent voter. I live in Georgia. We have an open primary. I don't have to register to a party to vote uh, in a primary. So I'm an independent you know, I'm 26 years old. I support Bernie Sanders. Hillary Clinton has to appeal to people like me who don't believe in party loyalty and say to them, OK, I hear what you're saying. I hear, you know, how much you support Bernie Sanders and I hear his message. I am going to take on what he is saying and I'm going to put that into my proposals and fight for it and champion it because I want your vote. I want you to come out and vote for me. If Hillary Clinton can't do that, if she can't excite people and woo them, um, then she is not going to win in the general election. She's not. That's fact. That is a fact. You can't win in the general election by not exciting people and inspiring people to go out and vote. You can't. It's just not going to happen. So what, what we're going to see is Bernie Sanders, if he loses, he's going to say, okay, well, I lose, I support Hillary Clinton. You know, he may not go out and campaign for it, he may not go out and canvass for it, but he will give his support. But at that point, if she fails to excite the Sanders supporters, then that's her fault, not his. Because he doesn't control them. He is not a puppet master. Okay? like the Hillary Clinton campaign is with their supporters. Uh, you see that with the correct the record and them controlling their supporters and saying, hey, get on Facebook, Reddit, and Twitter, and YouTube, and go after these people who have negative things to say about Hillary Clinton. They're, they're playing puppet master with their, their supporters. So they could definitely get their people to turn around, probably, to support Bernie Sanders. But Bernie Sanders can't because his supporters are free thinkers and they don't believe in party loyalty. They believe in what they stand for. And if Hillary Clinton cannot appeal to those people's ideologies, their principles, their beliefs, then she does not deserve their vote. You do not deserve someone a vote just because they have a D in front of their name. You do not deserve someone to vote just because they belong to a party that throughout time has been more um, on the right side in terms of uh, the, in history. You know, they've been on the wrong side a lot in history, actually. Like, let's just keep it real, you know. Hillary does not deserve your vote if she's not going to work for you. That, that's, that's the point here. And from that clip, from what she just said, she's not going to work for it. And... Tough titties. Like, that. I, I don't know what else to say. That is that is what Hillary Clinton is about. She's entitled and she's um, conceited. She's got more votes, so, you know, you have to vote for her. She has a D in front of her name, so you have to vote for her. And she's wrong. And she's going to learn that lesson the hard way. And... Do I want to see a Republican president? No, I don't. That includes Hillary. Hillary Clinton is a center-right uh, politician. I don't want that in the White House. 
That's what we essentially got with Obama. I don't want more of that. I want a progressive in the White House. I want someone who's going to actually fight. And I want someone who's going to start from the center and move to the right on issues, which is what Obama did with health care. I want someone who's going to start from the left and move to the center on issues. Because at least then we get more progressive stuff in there than we get right wing stuff. And Hillary Clinton yet again proves that she's not the politician for Bernie Sanders supporters. She's not going to fight for them. She's not going to work for them. And she's not going to do whatever it takes to get their votes to ensure that she does win. She's going to simply say, I won. Vote for me. Which is a Donald Trump tactic. He's been saying that this entire camp- his entire campaign. I'm a winner. I'll win. If I become president, you will win so much you'll get sick of winning. That's what Hillary Clinton just did right there. And she can bring up 2008, but let's not forget party unity my ass. Pumas. That is what they were called, her, her supporters were called in 2008. So is it wrong if Bernie Sanders supporters say Bernie or bust? She's not going to fight for their vote, so Bernie or bust.